So the question is, can you uh, 3D print stuff in 90 seconds? <laughs> that fast. It didn't work. Again, again, it didn't work. Channel update. Well, I just sold my street bike swap go-kart. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the video. So today we are talking about a couple of different things. First off, channel update. Well, I just sold my street bike swap go-kart for a very small amount. Um, because it needed a couple of chain tensioners and I was like, you know what, whatever, I'd rather just sell it and use that money for some other cool YouTube project. So I need you to leave a comment below. What do you want to see me build next? You let me know in the comments and uh, we'll see what we can do. But for today's video, we're going to be doing some 3D printing that is quite fast. How fast? <laughs> that fast. By the way, I put some jets on the scooter. You can check out that video on my YouTube channel. You should, probably should because it's a jet scooter. So why shouldn't you watch it? Essentially, in today's video, we're gonna be seeing what can you print in 90 seconds. Now, some of you know from my last videos that I bought a Bamboo Lab P1S 3D printer, and this thing is ridiculously fast. I mean, it moves. Ta-da! Here it is, the Bamboo Lab P1S 3D printer, which is a beast of a 3D printer, super fast. So let's, uh, let's look up some designs here. Yes, it has a door. I mean, how cool is that, right? All right, so we're gonna load up some filament here. We got some red and we got some like some cool spacey color. So let's find some designs on a website called Thingiverse, thingiverse.com. Okay, so I found this uh, little rocket here. So we just download it off the website and uh, give us a file. So move the mouse and click download, download. Okay, so now the 3D printer is going to take a second to do its little preparing thing, so I'm not going to include that. We're going to start the timer as soon as we see some filaments start coming out, and uh, we'll see how long this rocket takes. Okay, it started. After sitting there watching that rocket take over five minutes to 3D print, and I was starting to think, is this even possible to do 90 second 3D prints? I needed a solution. I think I have an idea. Why do I need to even put anything inside the rocket? Whoa, my phone holder almost fell over. Why do I even need to put anything inside the rocket? What if I just make a shell of a rocket? Possibly we could do it in 90 seconds. Let's see. Because really what we got, what we got here going on, this is not gonna work. I mean, I just checked the video and this little tiny thing took like six minutes and 40 seconds to print or something. And that's not gonna work. And it broke, look at that. So it broke, plus it took way too long. Even with the design being completely hollow, it still took three minutes and 49 seconds. That's not 90 seconds, guys. Not even at all. We have to cut that in half. This rocket is already so tiny. I mean, we're talking 90 second 3D prints. We got ourselves a challenge here, guys. Bam, I'm somewhere else. That's right, now you can completely ignore that fact. About the rocket, uh, it took longer than 90 seconds. It didn't work. So what can we do? Well, maybe now we can just make it smaller. So here we go. So I found a 3D print design of a Angry Bird. I don't think my printer's even gonna be able to print that without just making a blob. So, well, let's give it a shot anyways. One thing that I love about the Bamboo Lab P1S is that the fact that I can send a 3D print from my computer and I can send it to this thing just like that. I don't have to take out an SD card or anything. So. After I saw the clock pass two minutes, I was thinking, is this even possible or even realistic to make something in 90 seconds? Sure enough, the bird took over two minutes. Well, that took a lot longer than I thought. There he is. That is what took two minutes and 40 seconds. That little guy, I need better lighting in here, but that little angry bird. And then I realized that the 3D printer was in standard speed mode, not ludicrous. Look at that, look at that. Oh my gosh, that's so close. Well guys, uh, that was ridiculously close. Still not a 90 second print, that's a 94.43 second print. There we go. Time has started for this 3D print. We're about to find out how fast, how fast this one's gonna get done. This one, I mean, this one's motoring along. It's getting along there at about 57 seconds. I mean, if it's getting done that fast, I don't know how Oh, wait. wow, whoa, we gotta stop the timer. So the print that only took a minute and two seconds, this must be very important, guys. Very, very important. Oh yeah, that's right. Subscribe. Wow, look at that. I mean, obviously you gotta subscribe now because the subscribe out of all 3D prints took one minute 
and maybe two seconds, but I'd say just one minute. That's right, subscribe. And then I proceeded to make another little tiny rocket looking thing and just making it even smaller to see if I could make one under 90 seconds. Okay guys, I just gotta move the camera. That is so cool. In fact, you can actually see each layer slowly building up. Wow. This is gonna be close. Oh my gosh. Oh no. No, no. Well, there we go. We got two minutes, seven seconds for that little rocket. It's not 90 seconds, unfortunately. This rocket right here took two minutes and seven seconds, not 90 seconds, it's close. But I think if I just shrink it and make it a little bit shorter, it might hit 90 second print time. So let me try it again. It didn't work. Again, again, it didn't work. I believe that this time it is going to work under 90 seconds. Not a rocket, now a tiny missile. Let's try it out. Okay, look, look, look at it climb these layers. Look, look at it built. You can watch the individual layers being built. That is so cool. Whoa, that one just happened in one minute and 28 seconds. That is close. That is almost 90 seconds. That is really close. There is terrible lighting in here. But obviously the subscribe was so much cooler, so you should go ahead and subscribe while you're at it. This little missile right here almost didn't finish in 90 seconds. I mean, I think it was pretty close, but... So the question is, can you uh, 3D print stuff in 90 seconds? The answer is yes, you technically can. Uh, is it really worth it? No, no, it's not really worth it because the things are so tiny unless you're playing like a board game And you want to be a tiny missile and you only have like 90 seconds to 3d print something boom. There you go I mean literally boom. So it doesn't really make sense to 3d print stuff in under 90 seconds. Not really it Doesn't really make sense, but it is a cool experiment and uh, It is content for you guys to see and to stay tuned and yes, I'm still making videos but it's a little different. It's a little bit different because I'm at home sometimes, sometimes I'm not. So at least we got this one out. But what is cool, I sold the go-kart. Since I sold the go-kart, I got some extra funds, which, well, since I sold the go-kart, dedicated to being used for making more YouTube videos. So stay tuned, enjoy. Yeah, enjoy the videos. Make sure to subscribe and stay tuned because I've got more videos coming out.